meteorologist Kate Bilo is in our CBS Philadelphia next weather sphere as everyone gets ready for the holiday. Kate? Yeah, lots to do. Maybe you still have to get some stuff last minute. Uh, maybe go get the turkey, get the uh, stuffing, get everything ready to go. You have some errands to run. Today's a great day for that. Today's a great day if you have to travel as well. It is a very, very quiet start to this holiday week. The weather is going to get much more active, so get everything you need to get done today if you can. And then we're going to kind of settle in for a few storms we're tracking this week, one tomorrow and another on Thanksgiving Day. Right now we've got sunshine over the Delaware River. It's 37 degrees. Degrees. Winds are calm, meaning 37 feels like 37 as the winds have died down. And we're in for a bright, sunny afternoon, mostly sunny, really nice for the time of year. 57 is above average by about 5 degrees. And we've got a mix of sunshine and just a few patchy clouds today. Clouds are going to increase tonight as this next front approaches from the west. Now, this is going to bring some rain for your Tuesday morning commute. And then we'll have a stronger system, which is just coming on shore over the west coast here today. You can see more rain for northern California, which has just been in inundated in the past week or two. This is all going to move east across the country. So here's what our national travel forecast looks like for today. A few showers across the Midwest. That's the really the only spot in the eastern half of the country you'll be dealing with issues. We've got sunshine up and down the eastern seaboard and just kind of chilly but dry over the northern plains. But here comes that system moving on shore. Some delays San Francisco, Seattle, and then that system just ejects out into the Rockies starting tomorrow. So some heavy mountain snow for Colorado. Tomorrow some slowdowns perhaps at Denver. And we've got drier conditions. Some morning rain could slow things down in the east, but it's out by afternoon, so delays should recover easily. By the time we get into Wednesday, that's when the system over the Rockies starts to move over the Midwest. So on Wednesday, you could have some delays if your travel plans take you to or from the Chicago area, parts of Ohio and Indiana. We're dry on Wednesday, but this system will be over us by Thanksgiving Day. So here's the timing. First and foremost, really the next 24 hours, that's when a line of showers, maybe even a few rumbles will come through overnight into tomorrow morning. The, the best push of rain comes through between about 7 and 9 tomorrow morning. So here's 9 a.m. Then it's offshore, and by midday, I think it's drying out, and the sun will come out in the afternoon. Then clouds increase quickly Tuesday night into Wednesday as our next system approaches from the west. And this is Wednesday, 10 o'clock. So most of Wednesday, big travel day, looks dry. It does look kind of cloudy, not as pretty as today, but still re relatively seasonable in the 50s. By early Thursday morning, Thanksgiving morning, if you have turkey trot plans, running that 5K before you eat the turkey, some showers early, steady rain through midday. It may dry out a bit Thursday evening for your drive home. But you can see most of the snow, that blue, misses us to the north. It does look warm enough, thankfully, that you won't have to deal with any snow concerns in our region. You'll just have to worry about driving through the rain and getting a little wet as you make your way to and from your Thanksgiving destination. So 50 degrees in Philadelphia Thanksgiving Day, 51 at the shore, 45 in the Lehigh Valley, not cold enough for snow, but it does look like a cold rain all day long. And then watch what happens with the next weather seven day forecast. It is going to get very, very cold behind that Thanksgiving Day system. So mild start to the week, just that one burst of rain tomorrow morning. Then it's out. Wednesday's cloudy but dry. Rain all day Thanksgiving Day. It's cooler on Friday, but nothing compared to how cold it's going to get as a blast of Canadian air arrives just in time for the weekend. We're talking highs only in the 30s Saturday and Sunday and may stay there early next week. Doesn't look as of now like any precipitation chances, which is good news because that would be snow if anything were to come through. As of now, just looks like the rain early Tuesday and the rain on Thanksgiving Day.